Hello everyone, coming to you with an eyebrow tutorial. I'm first starting off with using the spoolie on my eyebrow pencil to brush my eyebrow hairs upward. I'm using the Nika K eyebrow pencil in the color dark brown. Uh, this eyebrow pencil can be found at your local beauty supply store. I first start off with creating a line underneath my brows to outline it. And I create that line from the beginning to the end. I don't start at the very beginning of the brow. I start kind of right after the beginning and I extend the line all the way down to the end. I then go in uh, flicking my pencil upward to create hair like strokes on the brow and I do that all the way throughout the brow. And I just continue to do that until I feel like the brow looks full and thick. I then go on top and create that same line that I created on the bottom on the top. And I continue to do this until I reach the end of the brow. I then go back in and just continue to kind of flick the pencil upward until I feel like the brow is completely full, full to my liking. And then I go in and extend my brow downward. I felt like my brow was looking a bit short, so I kind of extended it a bit just so it can look longer I then go in and flick my pencil upward in the front and then I go in with the end of the pencil which has a spoolie on it to blend everything out and then go in my LA girl pro conceal and cool tan and I use the morphe e10 brush and with these two products, I kind of just go underneath my brow and this is going to help me to carve out the shape that I want. And it also helps to clean up any mistakes that you may have made while filling in your brows. The Morphe E10 brush is a fairly small brush, so it really does a great job at getting in the small tight spaces to create the sharp brow that you want. After I do that, I go in with LA Girl Pro Conceal in Fawn. Now Fawn is a closer color to my complexion, so it's gonna help not to have that shadowy look on the top or that cast over your eyebrow. Um, so it'll help everything blend out seamlessly. Uh, I use Cool Tan underneath my brow because I want it to have a highlighted effect underneath, but I don't want that same highlighted effect on the top. So once I go in with um, fine on top, I kind of just clean up just as I did underneath. And I kind of just um, use my fingers to brush away some of the concealer and make sure everything is blended out nicely. Um, now I'm just going on to the other brow. I'm pretty much going to do the same thing I did on my right brow to my left brow. Just filling it in, doing my hair like strokes and making that line underneath and on top. Making sure you take that spoolie and brush the spoolie throughout your brow just to make sure that everything is blended seamlessly. I then take my concealer and go underneath the bottom of the brow just to kind of carve out that shape and like I said to clean up any mistakes that you may have made. Now some people do choose to just stop at this step with just, um, you know, using your concealer underneath the brow and not doing it on top. I like a more sharp brow, so I do bottom and top. But if you want more of a natural look, um, definitely just doing it underneath the brow, not on top of the brow is the way to go. But I like more of a defined brow, so I like to do both. After I've done the other eyebrow, I kind of just take my pencil and continue to do those flicks upward to kind of perfect and make the brows look alike. Then I go in with my Black Radiant Soft Focus Finishing Powder in the color Golden Almond. And I take this on a fluffy brush. This brush came from Amazon. It was in a set. I don't know the name of it. But I take this powder and this just is used to blend out the concealer to make sure there are no harsh lines and everything is blended smoothly. Then I go in with my Wet n Wild highlighting powder. This is in the color Precious Petals. 
I take this highlighting powder underneath the brow just to highlight my brow bone. This really helps your brows to pop having that highlighted color underneath. And I just do this to both sides of my brows. Once I do the highlighting powder, I then go back in with that same fluffy brush that I was using and I kind of blend out the highlight. And I